What's up, YouTube? We are live streaming right now, and we're about to revisit some old friends of mine from late 2018, 19, maybe, that have moved on to a different hustle that is currently uh, going very well for them. I'm, of course, talking about uh, Luxury Dark, formerly known as Luxury Pranks. I made a few videos on these guys with a heaping tablespoon of criticism because they were essentially scripting, creating these child predator stings. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't sit very well with me. So I criticized and made a video, turned into a thing, ended up interviewing this guy, Parker. Anyways, it ended up getting demonetized by YouTube. Finally, after years of making tons of money off exploiting this idea of like child predator stings and all these 13 year old idiots thinking it was real, they got, they got stiffed. But they are back and their fat d**ks are out and they are crushing it. It's life of luxury. It was initially his second channel where they were doing like vlogs and $100 fidget spinner reviews turned into this black and white with red arrow horror simulations and is just going ballistic right now. 8 million views, 20 million views, 10 million views, 18 million views, 5.2 million views a month ago. Woo! I want to take a look at these just to see how they're doing, see how far they've come, and see if what they're producing warrants this insane amount of views. But first I want to take a look at the best method for acquiring absurdly comfortable men's clothing. So let's talk about today's video sponsor, Mack Weldon, using this higher quality camera. Mack Weldon is the premier brand for comfortable men's essentials for every occasion. Now as the winter chill starts to thaw, it's a perfect time to start shopping their spring essentials. Their stealth boxer briefs are like a second skin that uses body mapping technology to deliver unprecedented comfort and support. Chub rub got you down? Not anymore. You pair them with the Ace line of sweatpants and you've just created the most comfortable and functional fit your groin has ever pressed up against. So whether I'm toting my boy around the neighborhood or doing hill sprints, I'm well equipped. They employ a wide range of custom fabrics and technologies that delivers a unique quality that becomes obvious the second you try them on. I'm not kidding, the first time you put them on, you'll notice it immediately. And not only are they versatile, but the shopping experience is intuitive and easy, making it fun to find your new favorite lounge or work outfit. They even offer a free loyalty program called Weld and Blue that gets you 20% off every order and free shipping for a year if you spent $200 or more. They believe in their products so much that if you don't like your first pair of underwear, which is unlikely, they'll refund your money, you get to keep the pair of underwear, no questions asked. So if you're a guy, or you know a guy that wants to get into his most comfortable fit of all time, head over to MacWeldon.com slash Leon Lush, fill up your cart with something nice, and use code Leon Lush at checkout for 20% off your order. You won't regret it, and your body will thank you. I appreciate you. Her son can't stop growing at night. <laughs> what is that? What is that on the bed? 18 million views. Uh, let's take a peek. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. <laughs> Ah, what? Into his skin anymore. Go, go, go. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right. First impression, dude. They stepped it up a bit. I mean, that's I'm like, it felt like a decent amount of effort was put into that costume in the edit. I'm I'm actually kind of my interest is peaked. She says he's been pulling out his hair and won't let her see his face. She sent this video for proof. Tommy, oh. I brought you your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? <gasps> ah! Dude, it's kind of sketchy though. Like I'm <laughs> So what do you think's going on with this lady's son? I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what that's Chester, by the way. Always wears sunglasses. Totally the class clown of the group. She said in the email, her son's been growing super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or something? I don't think this lady would contact uh, us if he was just having did a normal you, growth spurt. Did you see the footage, Chester? Okay. Did you see the dog food that he denied? He's like 19 feet tall, Chester. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. Dude, I don't know if I want to meet these people. This could just be like a waste of time. Well, at the very least, let's just go in and meet Candace and try to talk to her son, okay? Bro, this is like Attaway general level acting right here. This is like, there's like, cast an entire show in a hospital with TikTok stars right here. Luxury, life of luxury, like, right about here. Hi, Candace, right? Yeah. Hi, uh, you email us about your son? I love the two camera angles, and I love that 
both camera angles have the other person's camera in them. That's so clutch. This is why people that actually go to film school hate YouTube, but it's also why people that go to film school are pretentious because you can make some dog shit like this and get 18 million views, or you could spend fucking three and a half years creating an incredible short film and get like 35 views. When did all this start happening with him? After Michael passed. Michael Who's Michael? Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. I almost called the police. Hold on. I think they really need more Vine Boom sound effects in this. If I, uh, You know what? Fuck this. We're going to do this. That look needed a zoom and a Vine Boom sound effect. I'm not sure if I can zoom it. I'm going to try to do a manual edit right now. After Michael passed. Michael was your husband. Here it goes. <laughs> I was close. I was close. It's just those bones. They don't fit into his skin anymore. She talking about Ricky Berwick? Um, she invited me here to talk to you to make sure you're okay. <laughs> Are you feeling alright? Your mom's uh, been worried about the way you've been acting. <laughs> I'm just gonna add vine booms throughout. Do you think you could turn around so we could talk face to face? Uh. Yeah. Ah! Dude, I gotta talk to you. Okay, come on. <laughs> Did it look like he was a little malnourished? Something seemed off about him. I don't know exactly what it was, but I feel like... I just feel like he doesn't want us in this house. Bro, I don't feel safe sleeping here. Yeah, and neither does Candace, and that's her own son. That's why we're here. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch the footage in the morning. Okay. Are they going butt to nut right now in the bed? You boy, like... I like that. <laughs> Bro, hold on. <laughs> hold on, dude, stop, stop, no. Is he growing again? Is he... He's a, he's not on fucking stilts right now. What? This is amazing. <laughs> the stilts. <laughs> oh my god! What was that? One more time with the special effects. Look at her fucking face! Oh, he's leeching her! This is taking me by storm right now. All of my senses overwhelmed. My penis, fat. Okay? I love it, all right? I, you know what I'm saying? I don't care. You want to do some bullshit skits on the internet about some scary stuff and you, you find success, more power to you. As long as you're out of, like, the child predator exploitation game. Okay, let's let's get you up. He's in his emo phase. <laughs> okay. What's wrong with yeah. you? You know Tommy's listening to the Black Parade on repeat right now. When I was a young boy, my father died and my limbs kept growing. And now I pull out my hair. I am ten feet and disgusting. I eat dog food and I suck the blood of my mother. Let the man enjoy his music. It's very simple. You don't fuck with an emo when he's going through an emo face. Bad things happen. You want to listen to the Black Parade? Jam out a little bit in his room, eat some cat food, grow a couple of inches. Don't fuck with it. Take the camera out of the room, let the man go through his face. He's going into my room. <laughs> oh my God, what's he doing to you? I don't know. <laughs> what's wrong with my son? Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine. I don't know what's going on. Candace, look what he did to you. <laughs> this isn't normal. We need to call the police. No, no. Candace, yes. Call the police. He injected his 27-inch tongue into you and put ink into your spine so you can't walk. This is not normal, Candace. Call the police. Call the police. If he tries to come in again, Chester and I are going to be right in the other room. Try to get some sleep, okay? She's that sweating. She's sweating. Okay, I just really love Those pit circles are okay. aggressive. 
I understand that, but right now we need to worry about you too. If there's not a Chester, excuse me. If there's not a Parker and Candace intimate love scene, is it really worth 21 minutes? Wait for it. I'm going to try to time it. Oh, fuck. Not Tommy. Damn it. I can't do I don't know how to do the zoom, though. Chill. Ah! What? Something's breaking, bro. Whoa, what do you think happened, bro? Come on. Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I wish she was just like, sup, y'all? <laughs> hey, y'all, what's happening? <laughs> it's Tommy up in here, getting a little tall tonight. Just wanted to see what's going on in Mama's room. Sorry. Bro, I, think we, I, I got think carried we away with the vine booms. <sighs> we drove home and contacted Candace's sister on Facebook. We told her Tommy took his mom and we couldn't find them. Did they leave it open ended or is there some closure to this? She told. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Let's try to smash 100,000 likes for the next episode to be released. And thank you guys for 3.2 million subscribers. Let's try to smash 3.5 million subs next. The video's over now, so you don't need to keep watching. But here's some footage where we buy a house off the dark web from our other channel, Luxury Dunk. They were dead? They were ghosts? What is this? The Sixth Sense? They put the Sixth Sense twist in the end. That's what they did. Appreciate you guys for watching with me there. That was exciting for me. That was fun. That was actually, I was impressed by that more than I thought I would be in a way that's by YouTube standards. Like I was expecting to be like, wow, wow, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. But for what they're going for, I feel like it was executed okay. Yeah. Dude.